guys. So the messages I was giving for you guys was a Capricorn still misses you very much. So these are pretty specific messages. So they might not resonate with everyone. And the second one I was getting is unhappy in a marriage or unhappy in a relationship. And with this message, I was kind of getting this could be you or it could be somebody that you're concerned with. Unfortunately, I was picking up on maybe some abuse, uh, possibly abusive relationship that maybe you or one of your family members are dealing with right now. So I was picking up on that energy as well. Um, really quickly, I do want to give a big thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Also to everyone who has subscribed to my second channel. The links to both of those will be down below. Also, you guys, don't forget to go check out my merch. I got a lot of cool shit over there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Taurus? What is the energy surrounding Taurus? So they just told me getting information. You are going to be getting information about something. We do have the Eight of Pentacles energy here. So it could be information about something, about work, possibly getting clarity on what it is you want to do, what path you want to take as far as your career goes. Also, you could be getting information about something going on at work, possibly with coworkers, um, maybe something that's been said, something that's been done. You could be getting an answer about that. Um, we do have the King of Swords energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I also feel that some of you guys are considering walking away from a situation as far as work. Maybe you're sick of putting up with someone's shit here. We do have the Empress card. So yeah, some of you are going to be going off and starting your own business. Also, uh, getting maternity leave. Some of you guys may be taking maternity leave at this time. We do have the Sun card energy here. So I do feel like whatever direction you decide to take or whatever clarity that you get, um, whatever opportunity you get, it's going to make you very happy. Will of Fortune energy, this is definitely something... That was supposed to happen to you and definitely an opportunity that you are supposed to be taking at this time so do know for some of you that you are going to be changing careers you're going to have an opportunity to do so if this hasn't presented itself already so we do have the five of cups energy here five of cups this is feeling a little bit down definitely possibly could be regret as well maybe somebody is sorry about something it could be a leo i'm also getting libra energy here as well i do feel like somebody wants to apologize or somebody has been thinking about you a lot also feel some of you may feel bad about something or feel bad for someone. We do have the Three of Cups energy here, the Knight of Wands. There could be somebody wanting to come back into your life. You're getting strong cancer energy and fire. Um, Aries, Leo. But yeah, somebody wants to reconcile and come back into your life. Uh, I do feel like this person misses spending time with you. Maybe the good times that you've had with this person. Strong Leo energy here with the Strength card. Yeah, somebody could like, someone's missing you. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Taurus? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Okay, Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this message is probably only for some of you here. Um, there is somebody at work or someone in your environment, someone you possibly do project with or whatever that really cares for you. Two of Cups, they feel very strongly connected to you. Now, the Two of Cups, this just represents an important union. <clears throat> of course, it's going to have to do with love. Somebody really caring for you deeper than maybe you think they do. Or also this can represent a friendship that somebody really just feels connected with you at this time. And you are going to be connected with people from your soul tribe. So like soulmate energy type shit, whether it's a friend or a relationship. So um, we also have the Knight of Wands coming out, feeling stuck. <coughs> also the Knight of Wands, this can represent something being a bit overwhelming for you. Um, may, like wanting to give up. I feel like you're wanting to give up on something, possibly a job. Um, but do know, I love that as far as the Nine of Wands goes, this just means something better is coming your way. So like, yes, you want to give up right now, but do know there's going to be some sort of opportunity that will take you out of the situation or that will like possibly a promotion that'll make you feel better about the situation. So yeah, I almost feel like right now is just like, they're telling me like the final push, like maybe right now, like don't give up now. You want to, but no, it's almost over. Something that you're dealing with is almost coming to an end. So I almost want to say, give something some time clarifying the king of swords we have the king of swords so definitely could be dealing with an air sign here um i also feel the king of swords and this is you guys taking on this energy the king of swords is someone that does not deal with people's bullshit does not deal with nonsense i definitely feel a lot of you are um just going on your self-love journey taking care of yourself wanting to be successful 
and just move forward with yourself, not worrying about anybody else's energy, not having anybody hold you back. So I definitely feel this is your key to happiness here. Sun card energy. Now, the sun has come out twice and the straight card has come out twice. So there is definitely a Leo energy here that is interested in you. Possibly this Leo misses you, but there is strong Leo energy surrounding your reading. What is the sun card energy here? Okay, two of pentacles and the two of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person doesn't know how to approach you. Five of wands. I feel like this person may be jealous of what you've got going on. Possibly, you know, just seeing you do better, seeing you do you, possibly if you're dating other people, whatever it is, this person is very jealous of a situation and they're going to try to come back into your life. Why is the Wheel of Fortune energy here for Taurus? <coughs> Wheel of Fortune, this can represent new opportunity. Also, this can just represent something going in your favor. Why is the Wheel of Fortune energy here? Also, things coming full circle, especially with the Empress card here. There could be a new cycle beginning for some of you guys. For some of you, this is a business, a new job. And for those of you, this is going to be a pregnancy. Yeah, clarifying the Three of Swords here, Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to move on from whatever heartbreak this person has put you through. So I definitely feel this past person that wants to reconcile with you. Um, they do regret how they treated you. Because it's like now they see your worth. Maybe they didn't see your worth before, and now they do. Why is the Five of Cups energy here? Okay, King of Wands. Yeah, whoever the hell this fire sign is, they are extremely regretful. Why is the Three of Cups energy here? Just getting an energy surrounding the reconciliation. Yes, I do believe this person genuinely misses you. However... They are coming from a jealous place. Six of Cups. So this is your past wanting to come back. This person is just coming from a jealous energy. Like, I feel like this person is still in their... I don't know. I guess they're just in mature stage. They just want to have fun. That's what they're about. Which is great to, like, want to have fun and stuff. But I feel like you're really trying to build something here. Really trying to build stability. Really trying to focus on your work, your business. Things like that. And you are going to be successful. And this person either knows that or this person sees that. There could be people around you noticing your success, noticing your growth. And it's like this person wants to come back and have a piece of that. So I do feel like advice here is not to allow this person back into your life. Not that you don't care about them just because, like, you've got too much good going on for them to fuck it up. So clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups. Yes, this is letting go. This is cutting your losses with this person and moving on. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, letting the situation end. This was just... A lesson in your life this was just only supposed to be a karmic cycle in your life to learn something and move forward and i do feel like the lesson in this is not settling clarifying the strength card we have the three of cups yes this person wants to come in i'm getting strong cancer strong leo whoever this person is they really want to reconcile with you the advice is just to move forward regardless of how much you care or miss this person What is the advice for Taurus? Okay, Page of Pentacles, Lover's Card, and the World. So yeah, stay focused on learning. Stay focused on moving forward, um, making good decisions. This person here, this Page of Pentacles, even though they are young and immature, they're not like the other pages. This, this page is like very practical. They want to learn more. Um, they're very focused on their work, very focused on where they're going in life. Keep that focus here. And as far as love life, you got new love coming in. Lovers in the world card, this is a new beginning for you. So I feel like advice here is to wait for this new love to come in. There's nothing that you have to do in order to detract this person sooner or later, anything like that. They will come in your life at the very right time when you are ready to move forward and you have time to focus on the relationship. And this will be someone supportive. This is not going to be somebody that will distract you. This will be someone that helps you and motivates you to do better. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also be sure that you go check out the new Swords Tarot merch at swordstarotmerch.com. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.